from this tutorial we're going to start talking about dimensions we created this drawings as we remember from the previous tutorials so now it is time to add the dimensions because it's important to have the dimensions in any drawing and as you learn in the engineering book that the dimensions having some rules that you need to follow and you can easily know the difference between the type of dimensions and the errors and so on so to start working with dimensions you have smart dimensions icon here you click on it you will find two types of dimensions you have smart dimensioning and the dimension expert in this story we're going to talk about the dimension expert and then we're going to use the smart dimensioning because the dimension experts is kind of faster so let's click on dimensions and select your view you will notice you will get an error so when you are selecting this view you need to select a vertex or the reference point to your dimensioning so let's start find any point here you will get a message that the dimension expert is used in part level not on this assembly so let's go here i created a part a single part here and i'm going to make a drawing from this part so let's place our parts here so now we have these parts this just so now back to smart dimensioning dimension expert and here you know the difference between the baseline and the chain type of dimensioning that depends on the baseline is clearer but sometimes it depends on the area and the available places to your dimensions so here you have the vertex or whole center and we're going to select this center or this point so now we have a reference point to, for your dimensioning now you can simply click on the parts here and you will get your dimensions automatically done so that is very fast way to create your dimensions